And we're back in the garden this morning. Dabney Morgan, good, good morning. morning. Thanks All for coming right, first in. First off, did you send your mother something? Uh, she's actually coming to town oh, yeah, today. She, oh, right. Yeah, right. so I have the gifts already yeah, figured out, which is good. Nice lady. I met her, as you well know. And so, I, yeah, she's very wonderful. I know you're happy to have her come visit you. Yeah, it's going to be good. Of course, I didn't want to miss this weekend with Mother's Day. You know, this is big day for garden centers in particular because, yes. you know, moms love blooming flowers. Yes, they and do, and I, they, the I, garden centers get pretty busy, too. Yes, they are, and I would say probably the more popular thing this year it happens to be the hanging basket and the combination planters. You know, roses used to be very popular, and I, they've, the interest on those have maybe waned just, waned just a little bit due to the fact that we've had a little bit more problems the last few years with roses, but, you know, whatever the case, we do want to wish all moms happy uh, Mother's Day, and, of course, uh, make sure that you do remember your mom and get her something nice. Yeah, exactly. All right, well, let's go to the calls this morning. We have a caller in Virginia Beach. Good morning. What's your question for Daphne? Hello. Good morning. Good morning, Daphne. Happy Thanks nice day. for answering. Uh, this is far away from Wallace State. Uh -huh. It's about a tropical plant, Mandavia. How can I get a Mandavia to survive during winter? Well, what you have to do is you have to bring them indoors because they are tropical. They will not survive our winters. Mm -hmm. But they do well putting them in the garage or, or, you know, I don't particularly care to bring them indoors because the heated uh, air, they get a lot of insects. But put them where the temperature doesn't get down real cold, such as a garage, possibly even a storage shed, and just water them periodically, then next year pull them back out again. But a lot of folks have brought their plants out this year and Mandevilla did survive well right along with the hibiscus. Oh, that's great. Now, I have a question for you, Dabney, with those hanging plants and the hanging potted, uh, potted plants. When you have those, is it best to get a one that has a plastic pot or one that's kind of mesh? Well, what do you think? personal preference. If you do the ones with the liners, the sphagnum moss or the mm -hmm. cocoa liners, they're going to dry out quicker. But because they do dry out quicker, they're going to grow faster and they're going to be far more effective. But if you're not going to be around to water them, then you may want to consider plastic. The advantage of plastic is they do not dry out quite as quickly, but you have to be a little bit more careful not to overwater those. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay. All right, we have another caller. Pat, good morning. What's your question for Daphne? We have pond uh, trees in our yard, and when we covered them this year to get away from the cold and everything, when we took the cover off, all of the leaves turned brown but the top of it has green. Should we take all of the brown stems off, cut them back? It's a palm tree. Right. It's okay. about 10 feet high. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Pardon me. Yes, I would go ahead and cut the brown leaves off. And, of course, if you haven't fertilized yet, go ahead and put some fertilizer. And there are a number of palm fertilizers on the market. I kind of like the organic ones because palms don't grow that quickly. Mm -hmm. So they kind of respond a little better to the natural fertilizers. But go ahead and feed it now, and then maybe again in about six to eight weeks. But take the brown off so it'll look nicer. Okay. All right. Well, thanks a lot for the tips this morning, Dabney. If you missed any of the tips from today or from the previous weeks, you can check those out on wavy.com. We'll have another check of weather and news after the break.